Today, Colombian Minister of Defense Juan Carlos Pinzón made clear that his country doesn't have any intention to be a NATO member country. However, Pinzón said that Colombia is going to participate in the military cooperation strategy with NATO member countries. The Secretary General of the OAS, José Miguel Insulza, stated that drugs consumption in Central America remains high. That is why all the efforts should be focused in the reduction of violence and finding new ways to fight against drug trafficking. Curuati Massacre's case audience has been cancelled. Attorney Jalid Rachid asked for the audience to be postponed in order to give a chance to the peace and defense actions who are urging to determine who is the real owner of Marina Q's land. Paraguay's Lands Institute has ratified that those lands belong to the Paraguayan state. If that is true, the alleged invasion thesis will be rejected. Confederation of Turkish Trade Unions called for a two-day strike starting on Tuesday. They are protesting against country's Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan. For a fifth day, thousands of activists have been taking part of public demonstration asking for the resignation of the Prime Minister. Security forces have been using tear gas and water cannon to attack protesters. Two people have been killed in their unrest.